Hmm. All right, good morning, uh, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. This is Pastor Dow. Um, I want to talk to you briefly here about the law. Somebody um, continues to keep asking me the question as if I have no understanding. Um, but before I go into it, let me ask you a question. What makes you think that what you know and what you understand, uh, you actually have the sum of all knowledge in that particular area? You ever thought about that for a second? Many of the things that many of you people still believe, I believed at one time myself. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear it? Many of the things that many of you still believe, I believed at one time myself. And what I get all the time is I get people questioning me, um, which I understand why they question. But what we need to do is we need to follow the principles, the oracles and the teaching of what the scriptures tell us. I did not wake up one morning and just decide um, to come to the knowledge of the truth that the Sabbath day um, is still binding upon God's people. Just I didn't come up to that one day. I mean, I um, I had a question that came into my heart and I started studying and I found out I've been lied to. Um, I just didn't come up and wake up one day and decided to um, to just tear down every fallacy of Christianity that there ever was. Uh, I mean, this, it happened over a period of time. As I began to become more of a student of what the scripture says, a disciple, that's what Jesus said. Um, if you continue in my word, Christ said, then you are my disciples indeed. And so that's what I've done over the years. So a lot of things that I've come to I just didn't wake up one morning and say, okay, I'm going to just change my whole theology, change my whole perspective um, and philosophy about everything that I believe. No, this came over a period of time. And I know many of you don't understand that because if you don't spend any time studying the scriptures, um, I understand your mindset. That's where you're going to be at. Um, that's how you think. And everybody believes that they have knowledge and the truth um, in in every area and every aspect of their life because to admit that you are wrong in a certain area or to admit you have taught wrong or you're still continually to teach wrong um, there's something that goes on inside of the heart of man uh, that tells you saving face is more important than teaching the truth or, to, or change you see many leaders are fearful of change because they fear that they may lose people. Well, I'm not fearful. I never have been fearful of that. Um, we all have to come to the knowledge of the truth. And of course, it takes humility. When you are wrong or you have been teaching something wrong, that doesn't mean that you was teaching stuff wrong on purpose. That doesn't mean you was trying to mislead or deceive people on purpose. Um, we, we have to teach the truth as we come to the knowledge of it. Remember Hosea 4, 6 that says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. So when I get on here and I start bringing certain points, perspectives, and aspects about the scriptures that you've never heard in Christianity, uh, immediately because it comes against what you believe or you think you already know to be the truth, um, you start to fight against it. And that's human nature. Because uh, nobody ever wants to admit that what they're in is wrong. And I understand that. Um, so when I teach, you know, uh, let me give you an example of what I'm trying to say in a nutshell over here. If you go to John, the seventh chapter, and let's start over here at verse um, 45, just for clarity. And we're going to go down to the end. Uh, I think it's verse 53. All right. And it says this. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees. And they said unto them, Why have ye not bought him? And the officers answered, and look what he said, Never a man spake like this. So what happened was is that the chief priests and the officers, the chief priests sent the officers to go get Jesus 
bring the Messiah to them so that they might question him and examine him. Um, and they came, they, they went there with the purpose to bind Jesus and bring him to him. But when, as they were sitting there hearing him teaching, you know, it, it, it something began to grip their hearts like, what in the world? But see, not like us today. We're very heady and prideful. Um, and the first thing that usually people deal with uh, when we come against um, the false teachings and fallacies that you've always believed, first thing that happens in your heart um, is I can't believe that way. I, I don't believe that way. Uh, that's not the way I've been taught. Well, the way you believe is wrong. Well, I can say that because I'm not without knowledge. Um, so, but these people listen intentively. And they couldn't even bring this man because they couldn't find a cause for why even bring him up here. So anyway, then answer the Pharisees, are you also deceived? In other words, are you deceived just because, you know, they go and they hear Jesus. They hear the Messiah speaking. And then they come back with a changed attitude, a changed heart, and a changed mind. And then the Pharisees say, are you deceived? You know, that's how it was when I came out of the Baptist church and apostolic church. Um, they kept asking me, what's the problem? What's wrong? Um, and I said, well, there's a lot of things uh, that we teach and you believe to be truth um, and you refuse to do and you don't want to teach the people and you don't want to do because it will break your tradition. Um, and I said, and I believe that Christ is calling us up higher. Um, so what I did is I told him I'm, I'm going to obey um, the scripture that teach us to come out of her, my people. Now, most people don't define that her. I will define the her for you. The her are your churches, your synagogues, uh, your mosque, whatever institutions that you go to um, or so-called teaching or so-called scripture understanding, you need to come out of her. Uh, my people and be ye separate, say of the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing because there's a lot of unclean things. Uh, that you continue to do and believe and teach uh, in these institutions called churches. Um, so I uh, come up higher and as a result uh, there's many people that listen to me. Now many meaning few because not many in, in that aspect. There's no more than maybe 60 people um, that actually listen to me on a continual basis but there's probably like five or six hundred or maybe even more that listen uh, far off um, and that's why I'm, I'm doing this video right here because I'm, I'm, I'm going to put um, an address down here because I'm getting ready to do a teaching on uh, the law the understanding of Jews and Gentiles but I'm not going to make it available here on YouTube this is going to be made available if you leave me your address by some message um, and then I will send it to you at my cost I will send it to you because uh, I'm following the, the principles and teachings of cast not your pearls before swine and give not that which is holy unto dogs. Um, because I know a lot of people what they do is they'll get on YouTube and they'll um, listen to the teachings and then they'll try to dissect and dissect or either they'll run back and they'll teach it to their people as if they have the complete understanding and when you don't have understanding you're going to do more harm than good. So what I'm going to do is make it available to those who actually really truly want to teach and if you send me your mailing address by way of instant message or private message or email um, I will make this particular instructions and give you understanding between uh, the Jews and Gentiles and the law um, and then I'll send it out to you I'll send you a DVD copy and let's get back on this um, so the verse 48 in John 7 it says um, have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed on him. But this people who know of not the law are cursed. Now see, that's the reason why I need to get into this because a lot of people don't understand about the law. Let me give you an example. There will be people out there in Christendom or Christianity that would tell you that they're not under the law and they don't have any understanding of what that means. Um, that's the reason why I'm gonna make this DVD for those of you who desire to come up higher in knowledge and understanding. Um, I'm going to send it to you personally. Um, so, you know, the, these people, they say they are cursed. Now, you know what's amazing is you, I'll get people questioning me all the time. Uh, are you under the law? And of course, I would tell them, yes, I am under the law. And I thank the Father for it. 
Um, and then they would turn around and say, well, see, you're in bondage because we're not under the law. And I said, well, hey, that's your perspective. That's your understanding. I understand why you understand that way. But uh, I would tell them, well, regardless of whether you know it, like it or not, you're still under the law. Um, and because you don't understand, you're cursed. Um, you know, for instance, natural law. Do you know there are probably over 2 million laws on the books? concerning uh, government every day that you live uh, when you get in your vehicle you drive down the road and and if you violate any uh, one of those laws you're subject to those laws at any given time ignorance of the law is no excuse it makes no no difference whether you understand it know it or not but most people will try to say well you know you, you're under those 613 laws you can't keep them because you don't have any understanding what it means that's the problem but yet you're subject to two million and you are under two plus million laws naturally and you're having trouble with 613 that you don't have any understanding because some twisted warped perverted Christian teacher has evilly affected your minds and caused you to dissent from obedience and the reason why they they, they tell you we're not under law because they don't want to obey and that's just the truth uh, and Nicodemus said unto them and he came to Jesus by night, being one of them. Do of our law judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? Now, my question is, um, shouldn't you be living by those principles? I mean, out there, uh, somebody can be accused of anything, uh, murder, uh, being theft or anything. But yet and still, there's a process and a procedure naturally that they have to go through. A lot of times, the so-called justice system will take the so-called offender of the law lock them up and the reason why they lock them up because they want to protect them from the people who want to take the law into their own hands and then they have this legal proceeding and trial that they go through in order to find out um, through their proceedings if this man is is lying or telling the truth if he's condemned or not did he do it or did or not um, and so is the same way with the principles of the law when you understand them um, but the problem with today with Christians is is people don't want to hear they don't want to hear nothing you got to say um, but that's okay I understand I understand you shut up the key of knowledge but that's all right uh, but that's on you um, and then they answer him and said art thou uh, also of Galilee search and look for out of Galilee arises no prophet see and they don't understand what they're saying that's just kind of like communication that we talking today uh, people will tell you go check this out go check that out and they'll do it without any knowledge and not really truly understand and every man went to his own house so that's the reason why I'm making this video this morning I'm making this video because I'm, I'm letting you know that I'm going to be doing a DVD series and if you want this particular teaching about uh, the law the, the Jews and the Gentiles and how that it all ties in together and what is the intent purpose for it you send me a private message um, because I'm not going to put this up on YouTube and a lot of people don't understand that there's a lot of videos that never ever make it to YouTube I usually just put the stuff up on YouTube that I believe um, that people may can handle um, and, and even at that people choke all over the place um, but anyway I hope that you have some understanding but again I'm going to leave an address down here below um, that if you like to write me and if you like, if you want to support this ministry uh, I know one thing you won't be uh, putting your money in a bag with holes because I'm gonna put it right back into the ministry um, but anyway you send me a email of your address of your address and I will send the teaching to you may the most high bless you the king is coming